Hello YouTube, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is Ambi. Today we are going to talk about um, Python dictionaries. So let's say Python dictionaries. So dictionaries are associative memories or associative arrays. Uh, let's see how can we create an empty dictionary, right? Let me, so let me do this here, d equals. So this is an empty dictionary. So if I type um, type d, it's going to tell me that it is a dictionary, right? Then we, why don't we create something a bit more interesting? Let's say one is ambi and um, two is um let's say right so then what i can do here again i can say type d it's a dictionary so here as you can see uh, i can create an empty dictionary like this i can have uh keys and values so this is called a key this is called uh this is called a, a value key and its value key and its value right so we're going to explore a bit more of that uh, i'm going to create one more here i'm going to say youtube and this is it and then i i will say twitter i will say mr ambig one right so if I type me, so YouTube is the key here. Uh, ambig one is, a, is, a, is its value. Twitter is a key. Mr. Ambig one is its value. A key can be an integer and a string or a mix of both. So let's create one more and um, have a look at it. All right, and I will say first name, right? Changer and last oops let me say okay shouldn't have typed but that's okay ambi and then uh, I'm just gonna put zero here and I will say one two twelve three right and hit enter here right so i want to call d now here see what happens so first name it's a string uh here the key is a string its value is a string key is a string value is a string key is an integer value is a list but uh, unlike lists and tuples uh, you can't index these dictionaries um with zero one two three like that right you can't index them with integers or iterate you have to index them with the keys. So let's say I wanna get my um, first name, right? So what happens, D0. Uh, so typically if it was a list or um, um, a tuple, it would have printed this, but since it is a dictionary, whatever that I have, I put in here, it checks the entire dictionary and finds a key. So basically what I'm saying here, here I am putting key, right? So instead of key, let's say if I put now first is the name of the key and it's gonna bring that particular value. So keys are immutable uh, and they can be strings or numbers. Tuples can be used as keys if they contain only numbers strings and our uh, tuples inside tuples. So let's uh, do some stuff for that. Fruits equals, um, I wanna say banana and it's a blue banana, right? Some alien banana, which is blue in color. Now then I will do apple and green, okay? So that is a 12. And then I will do strawberry, right, blue, 
zero. Hmm? Okay, so I want to enter here. So if I type fruits, this is what I'm going to get. So I can use uh, multiple, uh, no, a keys. I can use a tuple, a tuple, what others want to call it as. So, hmm, what else can we do with the dictionary? Okay, so how to add an item to a dictionary? So let's say I will print out D again. So if this is D, my first dictionary that I created. Uh, I'm going to add one more item to that and that will be hmm. I just have to say this uh, the dictionary mentioned the dictionary right and then create a new key alias hmm. and I will say like this Rambo right and I'm gonna print D now so it just added this so I'm gonna mention the key here and its value Right, dictionary, key, and its value. That's it. It's gonna, like you know, add an item. But if you wanna update it, right? Uh, it's it's the same thing as before. Uh, you just have to mention an existing key. So if this key exists, if right, uh, it will override it with the new value that you are giving here. But if this key doesn't exist, it will just add it as new. So I'm gonna say D again alias I'm gonna call this time bamboo D so here it was Rambo it became bamboo here right so Rambo became bamboo here and now we will check okay what else can we check hmm let's uh, define another dictionary for our next task try to guess what it is uh, make sense out of it and hmm, let me do this way let's keep it interesting right two is to two now three is three three four four is to four five five is to five so I want to print yes so it automatically converted this so two raised to two um, so I'm just doing a square root here one square root one two square root is four three square root is nine four so sixteen five twenty five so let's say um, you just want to view the keys here huh? you will do like this hit enter so uh, you will see all the keys so this is called key view uh, how do you uh, see the values then so same thing what happens let's say this right it just shows a method so you have to close the parentheses so this is value view mm. let's say you want to check out how many items are there in it right there so the five items are there and then you want to do some boolean operation you want to say five in yes five is inside yes so it's true um, what if I say nine in yes it's false what if I say five not in yes that is a false statement because five is in there right five is part of um, this key value uh, what if I say 25 in s false because when I'm doing a boolean operation here uh, I am referring the keys not the values right so when I say 25 even the 25 is here right 25 is here it's not checking the value it's checking the keys but what I can do is however right 25 in s dot values if I do this voila it's true right um, so just like dictionaries and um, um, you know lists you can do some operations here but first let's check this out s dot items so here it prints or prints out all the key value pair then you have s dot pop right so what it does is i want to say four hmm so it's pops out uh, a key value uh, key uh, value pair where the key name is four 
However, if I say just pop item, right? Oops, sorry. Um, pop item. It randomly takes out any one of the item. And then let's say if I want to delete a particular key value pair, then I gotta mention the key and print. As you can see, it's gone. What if you want to un uh, unite uh, to, uh, let's say, dictionaries? That is pretty handy. So I want to take a complex stuff here. Let's say metals, right? Metals. I want to say her. Uh, let's say it's some old kingdom, right? And I will say she has these metals, right? She's a queen. And she has all these medals, and she has a farm, right? And what she has there, she has some animals, which are useful in those days, right? So this is her. So if I type her, it prints out. I want to say him now. And uh, let's see what he has. Stones, his prince, guy, whoever it is, maybe you, right? Mm. He has diamonds. And then weapons. He has some weapons. Let's see what other weapons he has. He has swords and rockets. For some reason, he has rockets in that medieval age. But let's her dot update with him or the other way around, right? Let's see what happens here. Her. So um, as you can see, uh, silver, gold, silver, gold, right? Metals, farm, farm, it was already there. Stones, diamonds, okay, uh, spelling mistake, forgive me. <laughs> diamonds, diamonds, weapons, swords, and rockets, right? So all these gets added. Let's say there were, if there was an, uh, a key value, which was already there, right? It's going to add the items uh, to that. Let's say if metals was already with him, but he just had, he had gold and copper. So gold, uh, in the final result, you will see gold, silver, and copper, right? So basic addition. Whatever that's not there in both items, they will be combined. It's kind of union, right? So, um thank you for tuning in and you have a great day see you in the next one sharing is caring subscribe and share